All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to take apart an Xbox 360. To pop off the faceplate, just kind of grip around the edges and just pry up and away. There's a series of clasps underneath that are holding it down. The side faceplates have two little notches that you're gonna slip some tools inside of. Could be a screwdriver, could be a pry tool, and it just lifts the edge of the faceplate up so you can grab it. Once you have a little bit of it up, there are a, there's six clasps around the outside three on each side. And what you're going to want to look for is the two white holes that are filled in and press in between those two holes and that'll release the clasp. I'm using a pair of tweezers but you can use a toothpick or a needle and then you can see little grooves that are popping up and away. On this side you can see it just a little bit better. Between the filled in holes that's where the little clasp resides gotten those three up now this other three on this side pressing the clasp in and then up pops the faceplate now the front of the Xbox has these little clasps that you have to lift up just using my little pry tool to wedge them up and half of the plastic pops off flip it over and then there's a series of latches along the back of the Xbox that you have to worry about. So take your little tool that you've been using the whole time and press it into the little groove and that presses down a little tab which releases the plastic. And you'll get a better view here in a second. All you're pressing on is that little niblet on the end of the tab. But you can see how the whole entire tab works. As long as you're pressing it down it'll release. And now the bottom of the Xbox will become loose. And you'll see two giant X's. How creative is that? There are six screws holding down the bottom. And they're super long. So if you take out a screw and it's not super long, put it back in or else your Xbox will fall apart. Now here is the eject button. Just pulls up and away from the Xbox. And now we're pulling off the top plastic bit. It was being held down by those six long screws. Then the front faceplate of the drive comes up and off, and then the drive itself is held in by two cables. If you're replacing your drive, make sure you get the correct model number of it. I believe there's five different manufacturers, and if you buy the wrong drive, then it will not work with your Xbox. So make sure you get the right model number when you're purchasing that. Amazon has drives for pretty cheap. I will link those in the video description below. This is the heat sink. It is being held together by these eight screws along the bottom as well as the metal plate held down by the rest of the screws. I'm not going to take apart the heat sink today just because you have to re-put paste on there to help the transmission of heat. But I will show you how to remove the plastic shroud between the fan and the heat sink. And then the fans themselves are just held in by two little clasps along the top and then they'll slide out of the two little pin slots down at the bottom and then there's a wire connector powering them from the main board. I'm going to wedge my tool down in on the little latch and then lift up the little plug with my other hand. There's some pretty cool modded fans on Amazon that I'm going to link in the video description below that you can check out. They just shine with blue lights. I believe there's any color, green, red. So check those out if you're interested. And that's it. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like if this video helped you, and don't forget to subscribe. I put up videos fairly often, and I'd love to see you around. Thanks for watching.